Hey guys, welcome to the video. First video for December. It's after Christmas. Uh, salmon season is officially done and now we are moving into cutthroat, bull trout and steelhead. Don't know if I'm gonna get a steelhead this year. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be using beads, wool, row bags, small chunks of row, maybe some spinners, not too sure, but I'm definitely gonna get into more steelhead. And the reason why is I got myself a brand new fishing vest. Hey, we should do a little fashion show, eh? Yeah, that's right, the wife got me a beautiful fishing vest, so I'm super stoked, I finally got one. I had one before, but I used it in the ocean in Japan, and all the zippers completely went bunk, and uh, everything, you know, uh, broke on the uh, on the zippers and whatnot. And I also got myself, well, I should say the wife got me, yay, I got myself a net with this really cool little magnet system. Don't know if you can see it, I'll put a link uh, in the description there if you guys uh, want to get one of these things. But it's really cool, you basically have this little uh, cord, and then all you got to do is just go up to it, hopefully this works, and there you go, boom, snaps on just like that, absolutely love it. Yeah, so I got myself a new vest and uh, the net behind me and even this cool little Cabela's bag. And uh, I wanted a different bag that I could just sling over the side and then just drop it uh, much easier than what I was using before. Other than that, looking pretty good. Can't wait for 2024. It's gonna be a great season. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be documenting a lot of the uh, fish that I catch using these cameras that I have here. All right, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna go try uh, further up the river. Let's continue on. Woo! Gorgeous spot. Definitely gonna come back here in the summer. This cedar tree gives so much protection underneath here. Uh, definitely there's gonna be a lot of holding fish on those uh, clear summer days. Good spot to come back. It's a nice little run through here, but it's uh, definitely like a traveling lane. So they would come on the back side. Um, left side, you're gonna have some fish probably sitting over there, but uh, I probably spooked them since I came through the river. So let's continue going up. Salmon at work, baby. Don't give up in the winter. Keep going, trust me, eventually you'll get a hit. Yeah, so you're probably wondering what the heck are these nets doing around the trees? Well, these are beaver nets. Um, they come in and they destroy all the trees around here. So what the uh, local groups have done is put these nets around here and uh, this prevents the beavers from, you know, obviously tearing down all these trees. Uh, if you guys know what organization does that, put that in the comments down below. That would be kind of neat to know who actually does this netting. I don't know who, it, who does it, but uh, I was just further up and I could see all the trees that have been bitten by the uh, beavers and whatnot. But yeah, there's one here and one down there. So yeah. Beaver nets. Really nice spots through here. So yeah, just uh, came up to this spot here. You've got sort of a shallow run that comes through here. And then inside here, um, a couple of these rocks have created this natural back eddy through here. So I'm just chucking the uh, single egg right through this back eddy with the rocks. And then it has a nice tail out towards the end there see if we get ourselves a nice little cutty. Just gonna try this little spot underneath this tree. There's a nice deep end underneath it. And uh, let's see if there's any trout underneath there. Look at this, I got the GoPro on a ski pole, sitting in the middle of the river, getting B-roll shots as I fish. That is awesome. A little scary, of course. I think I'm gonna need some type of buoyant, you know, yellow piece here in case it falls in the river. But nonetheless, it's working like a champ. Another good thing about the ski monopod camera system is, 
the mount for the GoPro works perfect to hold your fishing rod, you know, to hold it up so it doesn't get all dirty. That's pretty cool. Nice and easy. I mean, really? They just put their fishing line right in there. God almighty, people, eh? Please don't do this. It gives us fishermen a bad name putting all that monofilament out there. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I did about uh, three or four hours out there. Got to explore some new holes I've never seen before, so that's always great. It's good for the database up there. Tried out the new ski pole monopod idea, and that was awesome. It was really good. And uh, yeah, you know, can't complain when you're out there getting two, three kilometers of exercise on these gloomy, wet days like today. At least I'm not sitting around the house and uh, out and about getting good exercise. Not gonna get fish every single time, but that's the way it goes. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and we'd love to see your comments down below. We'll see you guys on the next video and it might be 2024. All right, see you guys on the next one. Peace.